What is up you guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video so today i wanted to talk about the three three good things and three bad things about losing weight now obviously on my channel i talk a lot about the the benefits of losing weight especially if you are you know morbidly obese uh, but i do want to make sure that i I encompass everything and it's not just about the rainbows and butterflies because there are some things that are not super glamorous and are super great that at least I've had to deal with with my weight loss so I want to make sure that I do share those things as well but before we get into that as you guys know I do have a podcast that I do on the platform with my brother that is called work for change I would love for you guys to check that out if you do enjoy these videos I know that you would enjoy the podcast I have it here on YouTube also any other podcast site that you can think of it is on there just search work for change I'll also have some links down in the description I really really enjoy making the podcast and you guys have been really receptive to it and have been leaving really great reviews and just been saying that you enjoy it so I'm really appreciative of that so if you want to check that out all the links will be down in the description the other thing that I wanted to bring up before we get into the topic is I'm going to be starting a new series here on this channel this is something that I've wanted to do for a very long time and I have just been fired up about actually getting it started so I'm gonna start interviewing and just having different types of people on the channel going to be interviewing them about their weight loss journey so it's mainly going to be focused on people that have lost a massive amount of weight or are currently losing a massive amount of weight and interviewing them and finding out about the realities of morbid obesity and talk about you know how other people have been able to change their lives with weight loss so i'm really excited about that i also kind of wanted to ask you guys a question maybe if you have some cool names for that series, like what that could be. I would love to hear it down in the comment section. Jumping straight into the topic, I wanted to start on a good note and then we'll end, uh, end on a sad note, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but we're gonna be talking about the three best things and best is gonna be kind of in quotes because again, there are so many good things that have happened to me from losing weight, but these are the first things that kind of came to my mind and that are a little bit different than other maybe things that you've heard on videos. And then we'll talk about the three worst things and then I wanna talk about the one ugly thing <laughs> about losing a lot of weight. Now, the first best thing is obviously regaining my health. Um, when I was at my heaviest, I truly was always afraid of death. I always was afraid of whenever I would have a chest pain or whenever, like I was, I've, I've told this story multiple times, but whenever I would be alone in my house, I was afraid that if I had a heart attack, there won't be anyone here to save me. So I was always kind of, I had death on my own. My own mortality was always on my mind. And so the fact that that is no longer something that I worry about is honestly probably one of the greatest gifts that I've ever given to myself. And I truly can't express how grateful I am for having that, having my health back and not, no longer feeling anxious about little things. When I feel a pain in my arm or feel a pain in my chest, I'm not thinking in my head. The first thought isn't, oh, I might be dying right now. The second best thing, and this is going to be a little bit different than probably what you've heard, is the fact that I was able to take guilt off of my mother uh, because we would have conversations once I started losing the weight uh, where she truly felt unbelievably guilty about my weight gain because I was you know I was a morbidly obese child as well and so I wasn't someone that just gained weight out of high school or something like that I was gaining weight throughout my whole life and I don't like to blame anyone I don't want to blame my mother but again she was the one that was choosing what I was eating and so she felt a tremendous amount of guilt for my size and she she has told me this story before but she used to come into my room when I was sleeping to close the door and she would just look on my bed and see you know the big mound that I was on my bed and she would just start crying because she felt so bad about what her decisions had had led me to so the fact that I was able to lose weight and the fact that she's so proud of me and she's so happy for me and she doesn't carry that guilt around anymore I, I can't explain how how good that feels I'm definitely a mama's boy I have my mom's ta name tattooed here in this heart. Um, she is someone that I, I really look up to and she has made a lot of sacrifices for me and my family, uh, you know, my brothers and my sisters. There's a long story about that, but we can go into it a little bit. You know, she was, she was a drug addict. We got taken away from her when we were really young. She got cleaned up. She started going to church. That's how I started going to church. And she got us back after a year, which is not what normally happens with CPS cases, uh, Child Protective Services. So the fact that she was able to get us back and we we definitely struggled. We were, we were definitely under the poverty line uh, my whole childhood, but she sacrificed everything for us. And so the fact that 
she carried that a little bit of guilt was my size and how large I was. The fact that I was able to reconcile that and make that no longer an issue for her has been, that is probably the best gift that I've been able to give to someone else. And the third thing is not fearing social situations. This is an awesome one for me. Like not being afraid of when I'm invited somewhere, being worried about, okay, what size are the chairs that I'm gonna be sitting in? Are there gonna be chairs that are going to be able to fit my body? Am I gonna be able to fit in to this place? Am I going to be worried about what people think of me when I walk into the door? Those were always, those were things that I just constantly thought about. I constantly thought about my size and how it was going to affect my enjoyment of any experience that I was going to have. So the fact that I no longer have to worry about that is really awesome. So that's all well and good, but now I wanna talk about the three worst things or just kind of three things that have happened to me from losing the weight that most people might not talk about that talk about you know weight loss because again I do think there's so many positives that it's kind of the natural thing to talk about those things but I do want to make sure that I also talk about the issues that might come from massive weight loss so the first worst thing that happened to me was my relationship with food became really really bad at one point now obviously it was really bad when I was morbidly obese but it kind of went from one extreme to another and I became truly addicted to eating as little calories as I possibly could I started to equate with the the, le the less amount of calories that I eat the better that I'm doing so calories were basically evil and that was a really bad place to be in and it started from a good place in my heart. I, I started with what, what I call the common sense diet. So it cut out soda, junk food, fast food, because it's like things that everyone knows are probably not the best things to be eating if you're trying to lose weight or just trying to be healthy in general. But then it started to turn into, oh wow, I notice if I eat this many calories, I'll lose this amount of weight. But if I lower the calories, I'll lose more weight faster. And so it really kind of spiraled downhill really fast. So that happening to me, while it is a negative, it has turned a lot of my content and shifted a lot of my content into trying to explain to people that one, that is not the route that you wanna go down because yeah, you'll lose weight, but you probably won't keep that weight off for very long. And now I am, I am a proponent of teaching people how to lose weight in a healthy, maintainable way. And I truly do think that that is possible. A lot of people might say that losing weight is you can't lose weight and it's impossible to keep weight off. I think that that's BS. I don't, I don't believe that to be true at all. I think that you can do it. It's hard, but it is possible. But that was definitely one of the negatives for me. The second thing kind of piggybacks off of that, but dealing with binge eating disorder. Now, if you've been a, a follower of the channel for a while, I've talked about this multiple times, but I struggled with binge eating. So it kind of, at the very end of that cycle that I was telling you about trying to cut calories as low as possible, now I would be able to cut calories really low and, and be able to eat maybe 700, 1,000 calories for three, four days in a row. But then it, after that fourth day, I would binge on like four, five, 6,000 calories in one meal. And to a point where it was, it would, I would be physically in pain from the amount of food that I was eating. And at the time, I didn't know anything about binge eating. I just felt like, oh, I'm not being dedicated enough. I obviously am not trying hard enough. So I was really hard on myself with that as well. And again, so that was a really terrible experience and something that I don't wish on anyone. So that's why my content is never, you need to cut as many calories out as possible. You need to be eating a thousand calories a day. Like, yeah, people can do that for a certain amount of time, but there's going to be a breaking point. And I definitely hit that at one point, at multiple points. And so that's why I am so against, uh, you know, going from zero to a hundred in your diets, trying to do these crash diets. I don't think, I think that they can be successful in getting you to lose weight rather rapidly but that's not the goal with my channel my channel is to get you to lose weight at a healthy rate and keep that weight off that is the main goal there this third thing is a little bit more uh <laughs> kind of lighthearted, but i thought it, it is something that does happen and i thought that it was interesting and i thought i wanted to share it with you guys is is that people always expect me to eat healthy when i'm eating out with them so it's funny because always like people are like oh you're probably gonna get this out oh you're probably gonna get this and then if i get something that might be considered unhealthy like french fries or a burger or something like that people are like oh I, you're not supposed to be eating that and i'm just like I can eat whatever I want as long as I'm smart about it, right? Like, uh, I know how that works, but a lot of people really don't understand that. So just like that perception that I always have to be eating healthy, that can get kind of annoying when you're like, if, especially if I'm around people that I haven't really hung out with that much since I've lost my weight. Uh, it's it's an interesting uh, experience for sure. So I do want to make it very clear while those things are kind of sucky and they, they're not fun to deal with, I truly can't express how much 
losing the weight has absolutely shifted my life and changed my life for the better. Uh, I, I would not give up any of those bad experiences for not losing the weight. I think that losing the weight for me has been such an incredible experience. It has absolutely changed my life. And I really do think that it would absolutely change anyone's life that is especially struggling with morbid obesity. That is not a life that you want to live, especially if it's starting to affect your health and starting to affect your mobility and how you're able to get around. It's not a way that you want to live. It, it, it really, really isn't, especially as you get older, you know, in your maybe in your later 30s, early 40s, 50s. It's not somewhere that you want to be. And so I while those things were hard to deal with, I, I would deal with them a thousand more times if it meant that I wasn't going to be dying, you know, before I was 40 years old from my morbid obesity. And the last thing I do want to touch on is the ugly part, and that is loose skin. Now, loose skin for me is something that's interesting. I'm definitely different than a lot of other people. Most people, when they have loose skin, they end up getting rid of it, which is completely fine. I'm not against loose skin surgery. I don't think that if you've gotten surgery, you're a bad person. I think that everyone's different. The reason I haven't got loose skin surgery is truly because my skin doesn't bother me. I don't get any rashes. I don't have any pain from it. It's, it's kind of annoying when I'm trying to run, so that's why I wear compression clothing. And that's about it. Like, it's, it, I mean, I can imagine that it would be really scary if you are trying to talk to, you know, someone that you find attractive and you're really scared about bringing up your loose skin. But for me, I found out, one, I'm pretty open about it. So if you, like, if anyone, if, if I'm talking to a girl and they have Instagram and then they look at my Instagram, they're going to see it. So it's like, I don't really even have to bring it up too much. But when I do bring it up, I bring it up relatively early because I want people to know, like, yo, this is me. And it's because I've, I've noticed the longer I hide something, like if I were to try and hide it for a long time, the more nervous it's going to make me and the more scared that it's going to make me. So I'm just pretty open and honest about it. And that's really helped me. Again, it's going to be different for everybody else. But for me, it truly hasn't. It's just become part of my life and it's just part of who I am. So I, I don't really uh, struggle with it too much. But there you guys go. That is the video for today. I just thought it would be interesting to share good, the bad, the ugly uh, with you guys and just, you know, be real with you guys. I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comment section down below if you have maybe a good, bad, and ugly. Uh, if you've lost a lot of weight, I think that would be really cool to read. But again, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There's one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Look how buff I am. <laughs> Obey the warning signs. And when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. Seven.